Mauritian President Amina Gurib Fakim was accused of using a credit card issued by an international non-governmental organization to buy clothes and jewelry. She has denied any wrongdoing and says she has refunded the money in question. The local Lex Price newspaper reported that the president had shopped in Italy and Dubai using a credit card issued by Planet Earth Institute. The organization supports education by offering scholarships and the president served there as an unpaid director. She violated the constitution, there's no argument about it. And as such, she had to resign or else she would have been sacked, impeached. And, uh, but even before that, uh, before that episode, there were accusations of gross misconduct leveled against her, first by the press, uh, which published uh, uh, documents, ev uh, documenting evidence about that. And then the prime minister himself at a press conference argued that he had damning evidence against her. And as a, you know, in Mauritius, the president is a moral authority. And hence, uh, it was uh, inevitable, eh? because besides, the parliament in its majority, great majority, unanimously, all the parties in the opposition and the government had called for a resignation. The chemistry professor was appointed to the largely ceremonial post in 2015 as the island's first female president. Mauritius's Prime Minister, Pravin Jagnoth, had said that Gurib Fakim would resign last week, but then just days after that announcement, the president backtracked saying she would not resign. However, her lawyer later told reporters that she would step down after all. It is not a serious mistake. The card was given to her to use and not to keep it, so she used it. She could have come forward to explain it, but I don't believe it was a reason for her to resign. She should not have used that card while being the president of the republic. However, I do not think she should have resigned. The conclusions of a commission of inquiry should have been reported before the decision to resign was made. She could have kept her post while waiting for the conclusions of the inquiry, which would have determined to what extent she was guilty or not. Well, we can forgive her because in the past there have been more serious issues and the offenders are still in their posts. I do not think that she did something really serious. She did not use the government's money. Mauritius markets itself as a bridge between Africa and Asia. Its economy relies on sugar, textiles and tourism, but it is trying to develop new sectors like offshore banking, business outsourcing and luxury real estate. Planet Earth Institute, for which Gurib Fakim was an unpaid director, was not immediately available for comment. Alexandria Majala for CGTN.